Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another weird video for you, and today it comes courtesy of my friends over at Super 7. This is an early look at Wave 2 of their brand new 3 and 3 quarter inch reaction action figure line, The Weirdest, featuring brand new original characters. We already took a look at Wave 1, but the first one up for Wave 2 is of course The Mummy's Hand, the severed hand of horror, which... Yeah, it's basically that. It's a severed hand with some little legs. The artwork on these packages are amazing. On the back side, we get a look at some of the upcoming characters for the worst. And also the weirdest, right? Couldn't show it to you before, but here are all six characters that make up Waves 1 and Waves 2 so far. Also, a look at some of the worst. And I highly recommend the worst. Captain Deadstar and Bachelor. those are a lot of fun. Those are the ultimates line, right? Seven inch. Then we have Trauma Bomb, the ticking time bomb of emotion. Very cool. He's like a little lemon head, but he's kind of spliced with a mine, right? Old fashioned underwater mine. Comes with an accessory. And again, the artwork is just fantastic. Absolutely love it. But speaking of loving it, you got to have it your way, right? Zom Beef. It's amazing, frightening, fast food freak yes that says it all right very cool love it and just again the artwork is amazing look at that that's amazing it's a zombie hamburger right in case you didn't get it so this is going to be an absolute blast sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee maybe get a zombie beef to go this is a look at wave two of the upcoming the weirdest three and three quarter inch reaction figure line by super seven Now, here's everything taken out of the packaging. I know a lot of people are going to want to keep these on card. I get it, but I'm going to open these up because, well, that's what we're here to do. So we'll kick it off with the mummy's hand. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this one to me is the dud of Wave 2. And I kind of have the same sort of thoughts regarding the mummy's hand as I did Trash Squatch with Wave 1. It's just very boring. It's got a great design to it, but I don't think it's fully realized. You can move the fingers if you'd like. You can move the severed bony finger, the legs. So it does have some articulation to it, but there's really not much to it. The paint is not great. It's kind of like a Happy Meal figure and not in a great way, especially for the price. Even on the eye, if you look at the artwork, I really do feel like it's missing some paint. Maybe a little black, a little white, something to really kind of bring it to life a little bit more. It has peg holes. But then that's where it kind of stops. It's just kind of, yeah, there's some color to it. You look at the artwork that's on the packaging and you go, man, I really wish we had that. Again, I really love what Super 7 is doing with all these original characters, all these original designs. But this ain't it. This one is kind of like, yeah, it goes in the wrong direction, unfortunately. Next up is Trauma Bomb, which I would compare this one to Blood from Wave 1. He has an accessory. He's got a great design to him. He's cool. He's functional. He does something. And he's got a little bit of a charm to him, right? He's got a nice little sweater. He's got a bow tie. He's got some tattered pants. I would have liked a little color differentiation on the shoe, to be honest with you. He does come with an accessory, the phone. It's a black phone. It's an iPhone. Now, because, again, the price and what we're dealing with, I would expect a little bit more. Maybe a little bit of a design on the phone itself. That would have been kind of cool. But he does hold it. That's important, right? You got basic articulation. You got the arms, the heads, and the legs, right? Peg holes, of course. So he does do a lot more. It's cool. He's even got the little patches on the back of his sweater. I totally dig that. There's a little bit more going on, of course, in the mummy's hand. The artwork, again, brings these to life. But at least with the accessory, which we'll get to in just a second, it comes to life a bit more. Now, speaking of coming to life, right, we have Zombief, which is my favorite. Much like Gorior of Wave 1, Wave 2 goes to Zombief. He's got all the sesame seeds up top. That's amazing. The face is amazing. There's a lot of creativity. The cheese melting creates teeth. You have a little bit of blood, which is the ketchup and the mustard. I like this. This is a lot of fun. This is interesting. 
It's Mayor McCheese brought back to life, right? You're going to come and destroy the rest of the McDonald's, Ronald McDonald and the Grimace and all that. That's what I think about. You got tattered clothes. You got all the green of his rotted zombie beef flesh, the orange mascot pants. It's cool. He's got peg holes. This one is a little bit more realized. But on the backside is the real highlight. He has a big chunk taken out of his head, and I absolutely love that. That is fantastic. You got a little beef. You got a little bit of lettuce. Maybe it's a pickle. Yeah. It's cool. It makes sense. This is a fully realized character, and I absolutely love it. But again, what I really think they should have done, these are original characters, could have had a little bit more in the box, could have had some half-eaten body parts or not to go too crazy you could have had some other french fries or burgers with bites taken out if you want to go that route right so could have done that just saying i think accessories galore for waves three and beyond right please basic articulation the chomp taken out of the head is fantastic the paint is the best out of all three i'm going to tell you that right off the bat it's fun it's a fun toy for your desk definitely recommend Zombie beef and of course with wave one you get gorior blood and of course trash watch kind of have a similar situation going on you have like the favorites you got the one with the weapons got a great design you kind of have the dud wave two is no different of course you got the really cool one you got the dud and you got the one with the accessory that's got a cool design right so they kind of have to mix and match this up a little bit i would say definitely more accessories across the board but again, the creativity is there. It's just it needs more paint, a little bit more something to it to bring these to life in that regard. Now, right here is my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're a three and three quarter inch reaction figure carry case. This is a lot of fun. I love what Super 7 does with their reaction figures. It's a very cool throwback to everything that's come before, and I very much appreciate that. But I want to show you that, let's say, with the Turtles, right? You have these more outlandish, old-school Playmates throwbacks. Look at all the accessories that these come with. Raph comes with a guitar. He comes with size. He's painted the nines. Same thing with the surfer Michelangelo. He's got all these accessories. Now, when you look at Donatello, who also comes with a bunch of accessories, look how bleak he looks. And that's really what I see here. I see great designs, but they're not immensely seen through. Gorior is the exception. He's awesome. You have Trauma Bomb, you have Blood, you got Zom Beef, Trash Squatch. With all these cool characters, they definitely need some more oomph put into them. So that will wrap it up for my early look at the brand new wave of Super 7's The Weirdest 3 and 3 quarter inch reaction figures. And again, thank you to Super 7 for sending these out for the purposes of this video. Again, I love seeing the creativity. The artwork is gorgeous. I just feel that the figures should emulate the artwork a bit more. Not all the figures are like that, but when you have ones that are like the mummy's hand and such, those are the ones where you kind of go, eh, you need a little bit more. But the fun you can have with the display, having zombie basically eating gorier, hey, that's a lot of fun. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything the weirdest. And of course, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, out of all the characters for Waves 1 and 2, which is your favorite? Let me know down below. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.